Greetings everybody, Dream here, and welcome back to Star Equestrian. Looks like it is nighttime in the game at the moment. I don't know how long the day and night cycle is, but hey, it looks pretty good. Uh, anyway, so, episode two, we're gonna see how it goes and uh, see what we need to do. So, um, I do need to apologize for a few things. First of all, apologize for how long the last video was. Um, almost an hour, that was way too long, but I wanted to put some stuff in there. Uh, secondly, my voiceover was a little too light, so I had to readjust the volume for my voiceover and the game. So, and then I also forgot to save in the right format, so the quality is not as good as it's going to hopefully be going forward. Uh, anyway, so I did make some adjustments to, uh, excuse me, to my music and volume. So the music is lower and the suffix is about normal and the UI is about normal. I am going to try having my microphone further away from me. So maybe you won't hear the computer as much. You'll still hear the keyboard and the mouse and me but you won't hear the noise of the computer. Um, if I need to, I will do a voiceover and go from there. Um, a separate voiceover, etc. Or try to. Anyway, moving along, let's go see what we've got to do in our main story here. We've got to earn 12 ribbons in writing events. We've already done 6 out of 12. So, writing events would be these two events right here. You can either do show jumping or you can do cross country and we've already done one cross country so if we go to events you can see what we got here so we've already done that one this one is not story related this one's not story related this one's not story related and this one's locked so i need more of that one if i go to this one this one it seems to be connected to a story of some sort. I think that must be in the... Yeah, that's in this little section here. So let's go ahead and do the show jumping event and see if that is going to count. Alright, as per usual, as per usual, I will try to mute my mic so that um, if there's any background sounds you won't hear them and I don't have to edit them out. So let's click on events. Let's go to show jumping. Let's start this one right here. We'll use Knight, since he's my only horse. Alright. <clears throat> let's begin. bit of a tip, if you hit W just as it one hits on the countdown, you will get straight into counter. Canter. That's fine. Let's go back to this one and... <clears throat> the 
This one has two eyes. There's some spots that's best to go in a full run and some spots that are not. And I'll probably speed up my video at these races. What is that embassy in the background to? Oh, okay. Alright. I'm gonna hit finish. To you. Uh oh. There we go. So, now we gotta return to Joy. Let's go ahead and fast travel. And I am going to change my camera so it's not free camera. Alright. <clears throat> Hello, Joy. Alright, honey. Now you're eligible for the big cross-country event. Go get them. Okay. So now we gotta complete Escape to the River event and earn at least two ribbons. Show jumping. Let's see. Let's see here. Okay, where is escape to the river? Ooh. I may want to do these other ones before I do that. <clears throat> you can do some of these out of order because your ribbons count all across the board. So let's do a quick trip to the barn first. And I will speed up all of these race courses.
Yeah, this race is impossible to do without having better stats. Alright. So, I'll return to this one and we will try that one again at another time. But this one... Alright. Ooh. You see how my stats are yellow? That means I actually need to increase my horse's stats. So, let's go ahead and see what I got here. If hopefully I have stuff. Looks like I don't have much here. I don't have the right stats for that race. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a quick little run and see if we can find some stuff. Pick up. There's a carrot. You know what? I'm going to pause the video here, and when I get my horse to the next stat levels, we'll continue our race here. So one moment, and we will be right back. All right, so should now have a decent amount of stats for what I need. Let's go ahead and get this competition going. Uh, let's see here. I think it was this one. Yes, escape to the river. So my stats are now where I need, it, need them to be, and we can continue on. All right, let's go ahead and enter, and let's go. do better than that but you know what I'm gonna be fine with just three ribbons and later on I will get um, master on that so we're gonna finish I better head back to joy and let her know how I did in the cross-country qualification Yay, we got another key and we got some more rewards and some more rewards <laughs> so thing with this game is that your all your quests are tied into each other so you're going to get multiple rewards for completing certain things all right let's go fast travel again and i am going to recenter my camera there we go did it. Well done, my dear. It looked like you really enjoyed yourself out there. Your confidence seems to be slowly returning. 
There's something about Evervale and just being in the outdoors. I can't put my finger on it. It's like the land holds ancient secrets, inviting me to uncover them. You know, you remind me of myself when my own little side project. Oops, where's my head? I say too much. Let's focus on more pressing matters for now. What is it? The people of Heartside didn't expect such a huge turnout for the championship and are struggling to accommodate all the visitors. The Star Championship is a great opportunity for our little town in Evervale as it promises to bring new visitors and investors, putting us on the map. But a lot of people have put everything on the line to make this championship happen. And if we don't deliver, it could be the end of for some. Oh no, what can I do to help? Thanks, Sunshine. It looks like there's going to be a cold front tonight, and I don't think they'll have enough blankets for the horses. I've got some blankets lying around here and there. Could you please go and find them and bring them to Winston, the new event organizer from out of town? He's been brought to oversee the Star Championship. All right. So if we hit the map, we'll see areas of interest. I think Winston is over here, but we've got like three spots to look for. So let's start over on this first spot. gonna hit. There we go. Let's run straight over here. I find turning off the lock actually probably helps a little better. So I believe over here worry about treasure chests later. There's a little side quest for that. But the blankets are right over here. Okay. Next zone is back over this direction. Falling off cliffs do not hurt you. Thank goodness. I like the fact that we can swim. I'm swimming, I'm swimming, I'm swimming.
now I got one more spot to go to. And I'm just going to use the fast travel to get back over here. camera it's a little bit easier to just let it follow me here oh, this is Winston hello Winston look at you you poor thing carrying all those blankets by yourself hi I'm dream joy sent me sent these over to help with your blanket shortage are you Winston? I sure am. And many thanks for dropping off the blankets. I shouldn't have known that Joy was involved. She has an eye she has eyes and ears everywhere. It's both delightful and a bit concerning. Ha ha ha. Are you the that writer who has been putting up all those posters around Heartside? I am. Why do you ask? Oh, I might have seen Snowdrop, that's all. Where? When? I was enjoying a scenic train ride into Heartside when I caught a glimpse of him through the window, running alongside the tracks. I literally spat out my espresso all over the cabin. Gathering my composure, I saw more of them. Pink, blue, purple, green, yellow, every color under the sun. It was mesmerizing. Wow, you saw an entire herd of them? Going up, I only had seen one before, Snowdrop. Apparently more have been showing up recently, but we don't know what makes them those colors or why they're showing up all of a sudden. They're incredible, they're incredible breeds and super rare. Maybe when I find Snowdrop, I can uncover the mysterious source. Okay. Here's a problem I have with what just happened. There was no mention of there being other colored horses until now. So how can we, how can our player assume that there was more of them and some other things there? I don't know. Anyway, we got our rewards. All right, so we need to talk to Winston again. Well, darling, while you're here, you best make yourself useful. I can do with a hand. Joy did mention you might need a hand. How can I help? There are far too few jump gates for the events. I must have gotten the order wrong. Could you swing by the supplier and speak to Debbie? See if she can get some more made. What's her mobile number? I'll give her a call quickly. See, that's where it gets tricky. Desi, Debbie doesn't have the best communication skills. Handling this over the phone would be disastrous. It'd be far easier to go see her in person. She loves compliments and taking and talking about books. Keep that in mind. Good luck. Okay, talk to Debbie. And Debbie is where? Somewhere this way. You know what? I'm just gonna swim. You give me the ability to swim, I am going to swim.
Alright, here is Debbie. Hello, you're Debbie, right? I might be. Depends on depends on who is asking. Why? I know why I know you. You're the girl with the head injury. Alright, so we are presented with two options here. So we're gonna go with the first option because we don't want to be rude. Which was we were recovering. Good. Glad to see you're back on our side. Anyway, Winston sent me here to request some more jump gates. He previ as he previously ordered too few of them. Okay, but surely he doesn't expect us to have some lying around. We still need to have them made. Come back in a week. A week? That's going to be too late. That's what I'd want to say. Sorry, one second. One sec. I see you were reading before I walked in. What book is that? Oh, um, why yes. I was reading this old pulp fiction novel. It's set in the 1930s. It's about a girl and her horse who are lost in at sea. Okay, so they don't have this formatting nicely. Um So answer one because I know that's the one talking about book related. Actually, I'm busy writing my first novel. It's about the mysterious fantasy horses showing up here in the heart side. Listen, sorry if I came across rude earlier. I'm a bit defensive when I feel anxious. I'll tell you what. I'll get those jump gates made for you, but you're going to need to help me get some wood for those smaller sections. There are some locations in Everdale, Evervale you could try. Just check your map. Okay. It shouldn't be putting me in a loop like that. Okay. There we go. It just kept putting me in a loop. Wow, that was fast. You must be really desperate. Sorry, I mean eager to help Heartside. I'll phone Winston and let him know that his order will be done by the end of the day. I think Winston prefers it when I call him. Thank you for getting it done in time. By the way, have you by any chance seen my horse Snowdrop around lately? I've only caught a few glimpses of Snowdrop. He seems to keep his distance when I get near him. He actually inspired me to start writing my novel. It's all about the appearance of the fantasy horses in Evervale. It's a tale based on ancient folklore of the sweet spring waters beneath Heartside. A few centuries ago, the water current got so strong that it burst above the surface into a fountain. Horses that drink the sweet water during a red moon or transform into these mystical creatures. Where is the spring? Where is the spring now? I don't know, but some say the founders of Heartside hid it in plain sight. Is that true? Who knows? It could be. Read my book and find out. By the way, if you're still looking to help out the locals with the competition, speak to Phil, the builder. Some strong winds have uprooted the trees and it's causing a bit of a roadblock. Perhaps you can ask him to tow it away. Alright, continue. Okie dokie. Let's see how many keys we have. We have seven keys. Alrighty there. Well, I think I am going to end this here and I will continue with this next time. Um, so far, I'm already hitting some bugs that I didn't hit before when I was playing on mobile. But that's fine. Um, there, we can get past them. Anyway, uh, hopefully next time we'll get a little bit further. I am going to try to keep this as short as 30 minutes at the minimum. 
maybe 40 minutes, 40 minutes at the maximum, but we'll see. Um, so, as always, this is Dream and Night signing off. We will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.